The United Arab Emirates was formed in 1971 and lies in the Arabian Peninsula in the Middle East. It comprises seven emirates, the largest of which is Abu Dhabi, which accounts for 87% of the total area. Abu Dhabi is the second largest city with a population of 921,000 inhabitants and is the seat of the UAE government. Abu Dhabi has a vast desert area which borders both Oman and Saudi Arabia. The desert has extreme summer temperatures and very little water, so is an inhospitable place. It used to support wildlife which had adapted to the climate and conditions. However, over the years, much of the wildlife has gradually disappeared. The Arabian Oryx is one such case. It has always been admired for its beauty and has been celebrated in Arab art and literature. Destruction of their habitat and excessive hunting by people who coveted their beautiful long horns caused their extinction in the wild by 1972. The disappearance of this magnificent animal from the wild represented a significant loss, both for the cultural heritage and the biodiversity of the Arabian Peninsula. The oryx is one of the largest mammals to inhabit the Arabian desert. It is a large antelope which over the centuries has adapted perfectly to withstand the harsh desert climate, fierce sun and temperatures in excess of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Its white fur which helps it overcome the heat of the sun made it very visible to hunters. A successful conservation program initiated by the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan was launched in 1968. Since then, captive breeding efforts have increased the population to more than 4,500, most of which live on reserves. The Arabian Oryx release program started in 2007. The program is overseen by the Environment Agency of Abu Dhabi and aims to reintroduce the Arabian Oryx into a number of large protected areas where they can roam freely in their natural habitat. However, to sustain the Oryx, these areas need to have the food, water and shade. Hey, my name is James Hilliard. I am the unit head for the Infrastructure and Facilities Maintenance Division of the uh, Terrestrial and Marine Biodiversity Sector here in the um, Environment Agency of Abu Dhabi. That means basically I've, I've got a fairly big portfolio of projects that I look after. Um, I have a, I'm the design engineer for the new uh, animal breeding facility that we're developing on our site at the Laker. We also have another site at Alfire that we have that we look after. We look after about 20,000 endangered um, oryx and gazelles there and we breed those up for reintroduction programs into the wild. We have a specific need for solar powered desalination plants to basically help us with our relocation and reintroduction programs for the Arabian oryx. Uh, the oryx has been extinct in the wild since about the mid 70s in the UAE and a number of animals were collected and brought together and we have a, a quite a um, intricate breeding program. However, we can breed the animals uh, in captivity, but then we really want to see them in the wild, in the, the protected areas around Abu Dhabi. And what we do with our solar desalination plants is basically um, we start revegetation uh, programs where we reintroduce uh, native species of plants and trees. Um, animals need in the wild, they basically need obviously food and they need water, but in our summer climate here, they also need shade. 